Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, fix these buttonholes. Um, my client was saying that these are a little stretched out for these buttons and I'm going to show you how to fix that. Um, first of all, the problem with this jacket is that it is a stretch fabric and um, they did use um, an interfacing on this, but the interfacing is also stretch. So um, you have stretch fabric with a stretch interfacing, and then you have a stretch stitch around the buttonholes, which means it's all going to stretch out. So um, there was a couple ways I was looking to do it. Um, I know what I wanted to do, the perfectionist side of me, but it really wasn't going to work. So, um, and that would have been to remove the buttonholes, you know, take the stitching out and, and uh, interface it, uh, stabilize it, I'm sorry, stabilize it. But it, that was not gonna work. So, the, first of all, if you work with a stretch fabric and you wanna keep this stretch, you, you don't want this to be not stretch and this stretch. So, you, of course, you're gonna use a stretch interfacing. But what I would have done was taking taken a square of this, it's a stabilizer. I would have gotten a fusible stabilizer and then cut a square and put it uh, a square under each buttonhole or in between the facing and the, the outer fabric. And I would have interfaced it to this side and then I would have made the buttonholes. But this wasn't constructed like that. So um, basically all we're going to do I would work from the back side. Of the jacket. And so we're going to work on this one. And all you do is you take your, your needle. Now, if you want to use um, a knot in your thread, go ahead. Um, if not, if you don't want to use a knot, uh, what I do is like I've stated in my previous videos, you run three or four stitches in the same place and it'll be locked in. And then when that's finished, after you finish doing your stitching, you can go back and uh, snip off this little tail here. And you'll notice that as you, as you push it in on the third or fourth time, it's really difficult to get it in there. I don't know how many times I've run the back side of the needle into my finger but so now you just move it in a little closer because you're closing up the buttonhole a little bit because it's stretched out there's still going to be enough room but you do need to bring this in keep your stitches nice and close now i'm not going all the way through where you can see it really obvious on this side it is going through, but it's not, it's not going all the way out and then coming back in and being able to see that extra stitch in there or that newer thread. I don't have the thread to match this exactly. So I got the closest that I had and I work from the inside. And when you feel like you've gotten far enough, go ahead and check it to see how the button slips in that. See, I think I can go a little bit more because it went in really, really easy. And I want to make sure that when she's wearing the jacket that it doesn't, the buttons don't come undone. Now, I want to say before I did this, I actually went and tried to press these buttonholes down to see how much recovery I could get out of it and there's there wasn't much so um, this is what we're doing okay that feels a little better when it goes in you feel a little a little resistance yeah I'll probably do it a, a little bit more Yeah. 
This can be done with shirts as well. I've done many shirts like this. Having to close up the buttonholes a little bit. Okay, what I just noticed is when I moved it over, it looks like it would probably be a good idea to take a little bit in from the other side. Because as much as possible, I would like for the actual opening of the buttonhole to not be seen when the button is inside the buttonhole. Okay. All right, and so you don't see any gaping around the button and that, that's what we're looking for. So um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and, and finish off the rest of these buttonholes. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up or leave a comment. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when I upload more videos. Thank you very much. Bye.